right now working on finding pesticides in some Washington wines. The main goal of our research is to come up with the best method for testing for the pesticides. We're using um, gas chromatography and high pressure liquid chromatography. So two different machines to test for it. We were studying codling moths. We took the abdomen tip, we extracted the DNA from that. We're hoping to find a narrow peptide in the abdomen tip and with that we could use it in CRISPR experiments. Today we were uh, collecting earwig samples from traps that have been placed in the cherry and apricot trees. To do research, you need a hands-on experience. To deal with the real world trouble, you need to learn the troubleshooting skills. So it's really beneficial to the students. Learning a little bit about how science is done, you know, the whole process of science, collecting data, and working with other folks. So they get to work, with, you know, as a team. It's been interesting to see uh, kind of what goes on in the field besides the growing and the picking. Um, when I first heard, I, I never thought earwigs to be beneficial, so that's pretty interesting that they're going this route and finding a new use for them. I'm meeting different people. Um, I'm learning from different people. I feel like this is a really good learning experience um, that I'm going to be able to use later on in my career path. I've always been a, a chemistry nerd. I love working in the lab, and so I've always really wanted to be able to do that. Well, this was the first time I've actually gotten to work in the lab this whole year because of COVID. And so I've learned like a lot of skills like how to use pipettes and uh, do PCR and cutting up bands and using a gel box. It's, I think it will be a valuable asset to have once I get into medical school, if I ever need to work in a lab or something like that, or if I decide to pursue another career. I got into science because of science fair, and I was doing most of my research is on the pollution in the world and how it's contaminating the plants and everything. And then this summer research is just another way of working towards that. Even though it's in a different field than pollution, it's still pesticides, which we can see the effect it's also having on like the world. I think this summer research will help me in my future because it'll make me stand out when I apply to certain colleges. 